I, I knew it was coming, you know, but uh, now, you know what, now that it's here, it's actually, you know what, it's kind of like, you know, because every, everything you do in, in a sport, there's so many um, sides to everything that everything is kind of just always like, a, it's always a struggle, struggle. But this is kind of one thing that I was talking, like, kind of feel like it brought everybody together. Like, you know, everybody's just, it's just been a real cool, positive feedback from everything and just a great way to go out, I think. Great yeah. way to just go out with a, with, a, with a wonderful day. You know what? Kind of uh, cruising with him, having fun, you know, and you know he, he, he you know he's in retirement. I don't want to bother him too much, but I just keep shoving in his ear, you know, that uh, that UFC Hawaii is gonna happen. You know, he's he's telling me that it's gonna happen because of me. It's like, it's gonna happen because of him. He's the missing piece, and and I believe that, you know, if we can get BJ Penn one time, just to, just one time, you know, we need him to open that door, you know, one last time, you know, yeah, he yeah. been opening the door doors for us. He been doing a lot of things for us Hawaii fighters, but. You know, one last time, BJ. Let's do this. You know, let's let's bring it down here. And he said, one seventy. You know, go go go. Give him a one seventy guy coming up, or or whoever. You know, I don't care. Even one fifty five. I think his weight class where he belongs is at fifty five. You know, me being here in Hawaii, I want to see all the all the fights. You know what I mean? I, I want to see. It was such a great time when we could go to the Blaze Down and the Super Brawl and the Rumble on the Rock, and we had all these guys and everybody coming in. You know. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know, I, 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 you know, I, I don't have the cold hard facts, but I don't know if the regulations is the reason why, you know what I mean, why there's not as much fights as there used to be, because they wanted to come in and regulate all the fights to the point where you couldn't even give water to amateur fighters. But, you know, but within that sense too, the UFC grew big, so maybe that takes some of the market share. So this UFC Hawaii thing has really like taken off mm -hmm. in the last. I think it was basically since your last fight. Mm -hmm. I, it was. I think was it you asked Dana at the press conference, right? Yeah. Was that planned or did, was that just fun? Did you um, just? Yeah, you know, I I, I I made a I made a bet with my friend uh, <laughs> right. that I was supposed to do it after after my UFC win. Like he was like, well, if if you win, if you win Cub, you need to like, cause I lost a bet to him, and then we betted uh, leg kicks. And he told me, "Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take all the leg kicks away if you tell if you're in the middle of the cage after your fight. You talk to Joe Rogan, you tell him bring one to you. So I was like, okay, deal. <laughs> you know who likes to get leg kicked? No one wants to get leg kicked, you know. And then I kind of forgot, and then he texted me after after the fight, and I saw it, and then I was like, oh man, I go, I'm going to do the press conference. So I said <laughs> in the press conference, so yeah, one, one of my friends, you got to thank him, you know, and he, he he put it in my mind, and I always wanted in Hawaii, but he actually reminded me, you know, like." After a fight at Cub, I was on I was on a whole other level of high, you know. I was just all, I was I was just stoked, you know, doing what I did to him, you know, and, yeah. and then getting the finish ultimately. So, you know, my mind wasn't there, but then lucky lucky he reminded me, you know, he reminded me, and I, I thank him for that because now we got this, like you said, it's a buzz, you know. We got this tour now down here, and mm -hmm. you know maybe UFC is try, showing interest without actually showing it, you know. So yeah. we see we see how it goes. It's just being that hope. Yeah. I just want to be a hope for why not kids, you know, why not people in general, you know, I, and uh, just just showing them that we can do it. Whatever you, I just want to set, even to anyone, anyone in this island, anyone around uh, all the islands, I just want to show them, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. If you if you really want it, you, you're going to do it, you know. We all got the same 24 hours in a day. God, don't tell me, Max, you're blessed. You can have 26 hours. No, it doesn't happen, you know. We have the same 24 hours in the day. And, and it's what up to us to use it the right way, the way we want to, you know? And that's just the confidence I want, that's how, that's the kind of habit, you know? Because I want to give other people confidence. And when people let me know, you know, like, when I walk around Wine Eye now, you know, it's like, it, it, it's such a blessing. Like, people respect me, you know? They're not respecting me out of fear. They re, they respect me as a person. And it's like older people too, like adults, you know? Yeah. Like, like aunties and uncles, and even grandmas and grandpas. Like, gr grandpas come up to me like, <laughs> really? boy, I'm so, I, I'm so proud for you what you're doing for for Waianae and Hawaii and that's just great and I was and I, I that touches me you know like this old man showing me respect that's that's like I was always taught to show old, old elders respect you know and and you give respect you get respect and this old man like res talking to me in the grocery store and telling me how he feels and uh, it's so great to have someone like like me doing this you know and it's just it's, I can't explain you know I get like I get goosebumps and chicken skin think yeah. about it. Thank you.